Have you ever wondered what the longest possible shimmer chain is? Like starting with one item, which one item would require to throw into shimmer the most times in succession in order to end up with its final form? Well, when answering this question, you will think of two things, decrafting and transmutation. Decrafting makes sense, the taller your crafting tree, the longer the shimmer chain. Transmutation, though, can result in much longer chains. You see, while most transmutations are simple crafts that allow you to swap different types of items or drops, there is one special and very long chain we are especially interested in. That chain is the ore transmutation chain. You see, when you drop an ore into Shimmer, it will automatically transmute the ore into an ore of the next lowest tier or half tier. For example, Adamantite will transmute into ore Calcum, the next half tier down, and Luminite will transmute into Chlorophyte, the next tier down. This chain is massive, running all the way from Luminite down to Dirt, containing 17 total transmutation steps. What this means is that any candidate item for the longest Shimmer chain has to include an ore, or a bar that shimmers into an ore. For example, while the Zenith's crafting tree is massive, it isn't very tall. Definitely not 17 steps tall. So it is impossible to find a longer shimmer chain from crafting trees alone. They need to include ore in some way. Instead, we need to find an item that hooks into this ore chain very well. This item would ideally have the most steps possible before turning into some ore, then when it becomes an ore, it would ride the chain down to dirt as long as possible. Basically, one item that eventually shimmers into Luminite or Chlorify ore. These ores enter the ore chain at its highest point, giving them the most steps to travel. So, let's start there. So then, which item has the most steps before turning into Chlorophyte or Luminite ore? Well, there are actually two items. Our first and most obvious contender is actually the Zenith itself. The Zenith decrafts into the Terrorblade, which decrafts into the True Excalibur, which then decrafts into the Excalibur and 24 Chlorophyte bars. Shimmering bars into ore, this hooks onto the Shimmer Train at Chlorophyte. Skipping Luminite, the ore train has 16 steps, and with 4 steps to get from Zenith to Chlorophyte ore, meaning the Zenith Shimmer Chain has a grand total of 20 steps. Meanwhile, the second item is much more obscure and definitely not as grand as the Zenith, yet it still has 20 steps in its Shimmer Chain. So, which item is it? Can you take a guess? Well, I'm sure you didn't guess the Shroomite Plating Wall. Unlike most brick-type blocks, the Shroomite plating is crafted with a Shroomite bar instead of Shroomite ore, since the latter obviously doesn't exist. This gives the respective brick an extra crafting step compared to most bricks. Of course, bricks can also be crafted into walls, adding another step in our Shimmer Tree. So, with these two extra steps and the extra step of Shroomite's crafting together from Chlorophyte, this results in a total of 4 steps from the plating wall to Chlorophyte ore, resulting in the same total of 20 steps. And that's the longest shimmer chain in Terraria. Hello, if you're part of the three-fourths of my viewers who aren't subscribed, consider subscribing as we're just 2,000 subs away from 100k. Either way though, thank you for watching, and good day, and goodbye.